Alright, lads, welcome back to another video. You can see it's a wee bit different here. I have had a bit of a a mad couple of days in terms of my mental side of this sort of lockdown period we're in and some of the thoughts have come down to the YouTube channel and stuff and the content that I'm putting out and the reactions that it's getting and for all that there's people that are enjoying it and I appreciate all the people that enjoy the content that is really the people that I do want to keep on the channel and keep entertained but because you guys are so loyal to the channel I feel like the content that I put out will be watched by you regardless it's that crop of people that were always there for the vlogs and consistently came for those content like it's going to be so long without vlogs that I need to try and adapt and find content that will suit a bigger audience if you know what I mean so it was frustrating me it was really frustrating me that the foosball videos weren't working out that way because I was enjoying making them etc etc but ultimately it takes up a lot of my time throughout the week time that I could be doing other things in so ultimately I've made the decision to prematurely end the foosball season the foosball 2019-20 championship season so once again Dundee United have been crowned champions and I believe Queen of the South have been relegated this time instead of Patrick Thistle so Patrick Thistle fans thank me later I digress we are going to introduce something a wee bit different because obviously as I said we're in lockdown we're feeling a bit down about it all we're a bit lonely and needing a bit of content here and there so here is a bit of content for you today. The five best championship players, in my opinion, in the 2019-20 season. Right, here we go. So, number five, I have a Dundee United player. Funnily enough, there's only two Dundee United players in this top five. And one of them sits at number five. Only because, really, the position that he's playing in... I obviously prefer attacking players. I've not got a single goalkeeper, for example, so I do prefer attacking players, and I think we all do, really. They're going to be up there for more of the Player of the Year awards because of their potency in front of goal, etc, etc. But this first player is not potent in front of goal. He is, however, a colossus in the middle of the park. Callum Butcher. The man returned to Dundee United this season, and... I can't actually remember him even signing and thinking that's a fantastic signing. I would have at the time because I just think that he's above this level. And I don't understand how I just completely missed this transfer last summer. Because it's a fantastic signing for Dundee United. And it's proved to be. It's exactly what they've missed in the last few seasons. In terms of a real colossus in the middle of the park. Yes, he gets criticised for the amount of dirty tackles he puts in etc etc but that is the type of player that Callum Butcher is so if you're going to moan and groan about that side of his game then you just don't like Callum Butcher that's as plain and simple as it is in my opinion Callum Butcher has been the fifth best player in the Scottish Championship this season and that's where we've started now next up fourth place Nicky Cadden of Morton now this is a bit of a weird one, because obviously Morton have finished mid-table and they've not exactly barked up many trees this season really, they've not done a hell of a lot to really impress anybody. They have finished 7th, so it's a bit of a mess season overall, but Nicky Cadden has been the standout player for Morton and I don't think you'll find many people disagreeing with that statement. Nicky Cadden's been scoring goal after goal for Morton, being horrendously impressive in my opinion and his goal against Alloa away at Alloa was up there with goal of the season for me in terms of technique precision and just how he carried the full move out he started the move off and finished it with tremendous prowess I just think he's absolutely outstanding and if we could have managed to get him that being Dunfermline I would have loved that it was probably one of the signings that in the back of my mind I was hoping we would make last summer but He's since moved to Morton and he said that he's enjoying it there. So if he gets the opportunity, I believe he will stay at Morton. Which is a bit of a downer, to be fair. Because I think he deserves Premiership football, if anything. So, there you go. Nicky Cadden, my fourth best player in the Scottish Championship this season. And now, third. We are going into a team 
in the playoff positions. And I'm going to give it to young Alan Forrest of Air United. Recently made his move into the Premiership with Livingston. Obviously joining his brother James Forrest in the Premiership. He deserves it. He's been at Air United for years now and he's consistently performed season on season. He obviously was there for a young age and just came up through the ranks and has now proved himself and proved his worth to Air United, picking up accolades like the Player of the Month, like he's holding in this very photo and just proving that he's an absolutely fantastic quality player for the Championship. I believe that it's a fantastic signing for Livingston as well because it just seems like the ideal player for them. It seems like they like those kind of wee jinky attacking players like your Stevie Lawlesses, etc, etc. I just think that he'll fit right in at Livingston and he did a fantastic job at air getting them promoted and getting them into the playoffs consistently. Obviously, there's other factors that go air into the playoffs, but Alan Forrest has been a key performer for Air United for, as I said, about four or five, maybe six seasons now. So, good on Alan Forrest. Got his move, deservedly into the Premiership, and in my opinion, he's been the third best player in the Championship in 2019-20. Now, I think the top two is a bit obvious for you. You've obviously all been waiting for it. Who do I think has been the better player out of the two potent strikers within the league? I can't deny that obviously I would want to put Kevin Nisbet in first place. But at the end of the day, Lauren Shankland, I criticised his move to Dundee United and he's proven me wrong time and time again. Scoring goal after goal and now getting them promoted into the Premiership for next season. He's done exactly what he was meant to do. So for me... Kevin Nisbet is the second best player in the Championship this season. There's no doubt that in any other season, Kev would probably be up the top because he's proven his quality. He's scored goal after goal for Dunfermline, who were a mid-table side this season at the end of the day. And he's just proven how good a quality player that he actually is. He's got real good skill on the ball. He's able to finish with great prowess most of the time and finish in positions that you just wouldn't expect him to. Some of the goals that he scored this season, I just can't really fault him for any part of the goal that he scored. There was one against Morton, I believe, where he went into the box and he kind of sat the defender up. He was at an angle and he just thought, is he really going to take this shot on? And he just thought he's got no right to score for there, but then he did. And I think he even knew that himself because he celebrated and put his arms out in the air just like... Aye, that's me. I did that. So, you can tell that confidence is oozing for this guy. If we manage to keep him for next season, it'll be an absolute miracle. I think he'll go somewhere in the summer. Whether that's Dundee United because they like taking other players, or whether it's some other Scottish team or an English team, I just think he's destined for a move somewhere else in the summer. It's a real shame, but he's deserved it. I think he's an absolute top quality player. And then, finally... Your man. I printed him off a bit big because he's literally bigger than my heat. But um, Lauren Shankland, there's no much more to say, is there? He's proven, as I said, he's proven me wrong at the start of the season. I criticised his move to Dundee United initially because I just thought it lacked a bit of ambition. I thought he could have went into the Premiership straight away. And I still kind of back those claims because at the end of the day, he's proven he's worth it Dundee United. And really, could he have scored those goals in a bottom six Premiership team? I don't think there's much doubt that he could have. I at least think he could have got at least 10 goals in the Premiership this season. And I think when he gets the chance to do that with Dundee United, if he stays there in the Premiership, then I think he will go on and do that. So, Lauren Shankland is my best player in the Championship this season. And I don't think there's much surprise with that one. Oh, aye. And by the way, Lawrence, cheers for the message before one of your games earlier this season. Really appreciated that. Hi Ben, how you doing? Looking forward to the weekend, hope we beat you. You did beat us by the way. No! Shanklin, you bust! Sick! Until Jonathan Afalabi came up a couple of months later and defeated you anyway. Yes! Yes! Jonathan! Get in there. But aye, that's it for this video guys. Cheers for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sort of different style of content I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a bit more back into wanting to do YouTube again and wanting to do it the right way and 
just enjoy the content. As I said, hopefully this gets a good enough reaction that it can become a regular sort of thing, more ranking videos and stuff like that. So, if you did enjoy it, please go to like, comment down below your thoughts, who were your five best championship players in the 2019-20 season. Subscribe for more of this type of content, and until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.